And now we have a developing story in Spartanburg County where a new inspection at the courthouse shows dangerous and elevated levels of mold. Council voted Monday to keep employees there while a new courthouse is built. Meanwhile, a new report shows efforts to remove mold and seal water leaks didn't fix everything. 7 News reporter Ben Hoover has spent this day at the courthouse. He's joining us now with more details. Ben, what have you got for us? Well, Tom, you might think, how can two inspectors, two separate inspectors, look at the same building and come back with two very different results? Well, the regulatory agency, OSHA, spent one day here back in January and returned with no hazards. A private firm hired by the solicitor and the clerk of court here uh, says that there are numerous issues, that the county did uh, remove most of the mold here, but not all of it. The inspection conducted by Atlanta-based CGCI management included seven days of on-site air quality testing and the usage of equipment that looked into walls and ceilings. It's not rocket science. It's water entry, you got to stop it, and you got to clean what the damage has been caused from that and move on. Jerry Bond with CGCI says the main issues found in late February and early March include dangerous mold found with moderate growth in the ceiling area above the clerk of court's office. Air sample results returned extremely elevated levels of mold behind the window unit in the clerk's office. Moderate levels of mold found in the office of the chief judge and elevated levels of mold in air samples taken from that office as well. And an extreme level of mold in the air sample in another area that caters to children and families. This would be a, a location where people with compromised immune systems, elderly or young, would avoid. Other areas of concern in the courthouse. The inspector says this watermark on the ceiling of a private men's restroom is the result of a pipe leaking onto a ceiling tile. So you've got, uh, in this sense, where it's going to make mold. Clerk of Court Hope Blackley says a 2016 inspection identified the leaking pipe, marked it for remedy, but Bond says it was overlooked. He also says if this issue and the other mold, water, and air quality problems aren't fixed, the county could have a bigger problem on its hands. The elevated conditions will begin to get worse and worse if the exterior water entry is not corrected and some of the other leaking areas aren't corrected. It will. That inspection report was shared with the county administrator's office. I spoke with Councilman Bob Walker over the phone. He said he has not had a chance to review it yet and can't comment, but he uh, recommitted the county. The county, he actually said that the county has been committed to issuing uh, any sort of remedy here that pops up in the future with mold or any sort of air quality issues. Live at the courthouse, I'm Ben Hoover, 7 News.